Skills 2K Emphasis provides world-class online IT training, staffing and software testing solutions to customers worldwide. H2K Emphasis, how we are different from our competitors. 100% job oriented training, hands-on project work, cloud test lab, resume preparation and review, mock interviews, robust syllabus, one-time fee and lifetime access to classes, access to recorded sessions of live classes. H2K Emphasis has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For a free demo class, visit us at h2kinfosys.com. Now here I'm again com uh, I'm commenting it back, right? Now, if there are a couple of error codes which I've handled out of that, I know that this is a error code that is a 500. Okay, so that means I want to handle any errors which is with any error code which is of 500. Now, if you see this, I have got a tag here that is an error page. Okay, and error code. Now there are different error page and error to, uh, error uh, error code and location. So let us talk about this right now. Okay, 500. Whenever there is an error code is 500, internal error is 500. Who is going to handle your exception? That is your error handler. Let us go back to the error handler .java file. Sorry. Okay, this is my error handler .java file. Now this is again been annotated, and the URL pattern is your URL. Uh, that is your error handler. Okay. Now when I enable this, what happens is it basically comes to your uh, to your to your method out here. Okay. And then it basically pastes the particular message. Okay, instead of giving any kind of junk data, you can basically capture these messages out here. Okay, how do you do that? You know that uh, you are going to get some kind of exception. You can use your throwable here, and uh, you just say request or get attribute of exception. You can even ca catch it exception. Or you can just say status code. It will give you the status code. Okay, when you say Request or get attribute of this status code will give you whether it is a 500 or whether it is your 404 or any kind of exceptions. Okay, it gives you the sublet name out here. Okay, so I have got some logic out here to paste some information to the output. Either it comes to your if block, either it comes to your else if block. Okay, either it comes to your else block. Okay, so let us go back. Now everything is enabled in my web.xml. This is enabled for me. Okay. Now, when you talk about throwable, this is in generic. Okay. Now you know that uh, the the supermost class for each and every exception is nothing but your throwable. So I'm saying that if anything happens, anything apart from your 500 or 404, you go back to this one and go to this. Okay. Now here, if it is a 404, I can here I've just given here as error handler. You can have your own uh, error handler file also. Okay. Now, uh, this is nothing but again your subreddit. It, the way you have filters, uh, you, this is not a filter. I mean, anything, you don't have to extend anything with your, uh, uh, like the way, the way we did it for filters. You can extend it only with your HTTP subreddit here. Okay. Now go back and refresh this. JRAM, route. Again, I'll do give some junk data out here. Okay. I think I did not start a couple of things to start the server okay so once you do any modification with your web.xml file you have to restart your server okay go back and try to access it again right now you are not getting any junk data uh, any data which i cannot understand you're getting some meaningful message out here now from where i got this message i basically got this message somewhere from my error handler itself okay i think this is the piece of code which got generated here very well i can capture the exception and i can basically give some meaningful message to the to the browser so that somebody can basically understand that okay so this is your main objective of using your error handler okay so always make sure you have if you want to make sure that uh, you you know that uh, your 404 could be a very gen generic message which you always get you basically uh, very well go with an error page and you have an error js error uh, handler servlet accordingly okay is that pretty much clear folks so uh, you guys can you guys can uh, just type in yes no 
I'm giving a lot of efforts, guys. And if you guys do not give any effort to at least type in by saying yes or no, it doesn't. Uh... Yes, thank you. Okay, I appreciate that. You should appreciate my efforts. I should appreciate at least your yes or no. I still see very less yes. Okay. All right. Okay. <clears throat> All right, so this is one, one servlet with the help of which I can, okay, let me first clear this and go back to the browser. Uh, what did I do? I just uh, gave this display header, right? So if you see this display header, uh, this is again a servlet. Uh, in, with the help of this, I'm basically printing out all the information which is coming in coming in as a part of your response from your server itself. So what is this? This is a browser, right? In the browser, what did I do? Just copied and pasted this particular URL and did just enter, right? So when you do an enter, this request basically goes to your server, right? From the server, you are going to get a response back. So when it goes to the server, it is actually getting all the header uh, information what it has been requested okay so let me just clear this and do an enter out here okay um now the 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 information which is been sent from your client to the browser sorry client to the server those things have been captured right if you see localhost 8081 so as you know, this is your request from your client to the browser and this is a response from your server to the, okay, sorry, this is your request from your client to the server and this is your response from your server to the client, okay? And if you can see, you can just match up all the, all the information. So what is your host, what is the connection, uh, these things, accept, blah, blah, okay? So all these things you can see, okay? So this is also, it will be quite handy if you still want to explore things, all right? Um, okay, I'll just show you one uh, one other thing. Uh, basically, we will start introducing your MVC architecture. Okay, so this is the one which we are going to see down the line. All right. Now, uh, in the next class, we will talk about uh, sessions and we will talk about communication. So, how one servlet will try to interact with another servlet. Okay. Till now, we haven't done anything. Here only we have done one thing. That is, if you see your uh, when we see our authentication filter. In authentication, we have communicated from a servlet. So as you know, your authentication filter is again a servlet. From your servlet, we have communicated to an HTML. That means we have set response dots and redirect to an HTML. Now we will, in the next class, we will, we will see how do you communicate from a servlet to another servlet, okay? Now quickly, let me just show you this MVC architecture where you guys can uh, do the same example, okay? So whenever you talk about an MVC architecture, you'll be having a model view and a controller, okay? Model is nothing but anyone who is going to talk to the database. Uh, view is nothing but your HTML files and controller is nothing but your servlet, okay? Now, if I got, take a typical situation out here, okay? Now, I have my browser wherein I've got, um, what do I got, okay? I've got a form in which uh, some student informations are there to save it. Okay, save it to the database. So how do I get this form? The the very the very first time wherein I come to this and let's say I say, I let me just take this page itself. This is your hello form. So let's say. Uh, Okay, we got some issues out here. Let me just figure that out here. Hello form. Hello.html. Okay, this is hello.html. Hello.html. Okay. So let's let's think that this is your first name, last name, and age. Okay. So these informations I want to store it in a database. So what will be your approach is 
uh, we will not take yeah that's what i'm talking about mother right now we're talking about your mbc architecture here something is too much stuff so we take time to say yes <laughs> all right yeah uh, thanks lydia at least for giving some comments so lydia says uh, sometimes it's too much uh, stuff for us to take it in not take it in i mean i'm just adding a couple of other things also so we take time to say yes all right i appreciate that all right okay now here uh, i want you guys to do the same thing uh, you can just follow this example and try to build up your app, your own application okay so here if you see uh, the very first time i say hello.html your hello.html is coming up in picture so you can just say student login.html or let's say student uh, yeah student sign in.html okay wherein you will give a student sign in form wherein you will be having the first name last name blah 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 lot of other information and at last you will be having a submit button also okay so this is what you have it right now and then what happens when you do a submit it basically goes to a let's say we will not talk about, talk about server here we will talk about a servlet out here okay this is our servlet okay so the request goes from your uh, form to your servlet out here and what it does servlet will closely okay so take this and take this take a request now what this uh, servlet is going to do is so let me just name this as this is my servlet okay controller okay uh, what this servlet controller is going to do the server will act as a controller okay and this will act as a this is my first view basically okay and in this case i will use a class a java class not any kind of servlet or anything else let's say student dao now when you talk about dao dao is nothing but it is again a design pattern it is known as a uh, it's, it's 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 your data access object basically you try to access your data or you want to save some information you basically use a dao we say it is a dao okay so stud uh, servlet controller is going to take the help of the student dao okay and ultimately he the student dao is going to save the information in the database okay so this is my database and this student dao is going to save the information in the database okay so once it has been saved you will be giving a uh, giving a reply back to the servlet controller saying that everything is fine so this is fine or this is wrong depending on the response in the same place you can know i mean you will be having a success page sorry cozy okay you will be having a success page or you will be having a failure page okay so let's say this is your success dot html and this is your failure.html okay so depending on the response what you get it from the student dao you will basically send that particular page back to the either it could be this particular page okay or it could be this particular page okay now let us go back and see couple of other things here uh db controller this is a servlet okay now here in this case what are you going to use it is your request dispatcher so if everything goes fine okay i'm just on a top level giving you this this idea you have to work out on this okay now if everything goes fine just say request dot get request dispatcher of your success dot jsp or you can just say success dot html okay here in this case you can just say success dot html or if anything goes wrong you just uh, have or uh, you can just have something like this a condition if things are good okay uh let's say you will have something like string my view page okay so if everything is fine uh, just say view page equals to success.html 
एल्स ओके जस्ट से एर डॉट एच टी एम एल एंड पास दिस पर्टिक्युलर पेज नेम टू यर गेट रिक्वेस्ट डिस्पैचर सो वॉट गेस्ट रिक्वेस्ट डिस्पैचर इज गोइंग टू डू इज ही इज गोइंग टू फाइंड आउट दिस पर्टिकुलर पेज यूर एच टी एम एल ओके वेन वी टॉक अबाउट डिफरेंट वी कैन इवन यूज अ सबलेट आउट हियर एंड इफ यू कैन सी दिस पेज इज इनिशियली इट वॉज इट वॉज अ सबलेट ओके दिस इज अर मेसेज व्यू यू कैन वेरी वेल यू हैव दिस मेसेज व्यू ऑल्सो आउट हियर ओके आई हैव जस्ट रिटर्न वन मोर सबलेट आउट हियर इन ऑर टू have it uh, as a chain now here what i'll do i did a chaining out here from from one servlet that is your from your db controller is again a servlet i am chaining it to another servlet using my request dot get request dispatcher of message view here as of today just uh, give your view page whether it is success dot html or whether it is an error dot html and you see those information in the browser okay so which is your model model is nothing but your any anything i do it using my database now if you can see this is a inbuilt uh, all the applications out out here so with the help of this i basically connect to the database and i do some insertion and i give a response back to the db controller so when i say db controller i can uh, this particular insert student do can return me a boolean flag as true or false also you can even try that as well okay so once everything is fine you say things are good and just forward the response or th if things are not good either pass this or either pass this okay so my controller is nothing but your debug controller my model is nothing but your student dao okay my view is nothing but your message view out here or else you in in our case the one which we discussed our view uh, our view is going to be a success.html or failure.html okay so you basically separate all these things so if you see in your previous applications we have given the response the complete html file somewhere in your in your servlet itself but in this case we are not doing that we are only doing the controller logic now where is that sorry okay we are just trying to control the flow of the complete application with the help of a controller so it does not do any logic to print anything to the output here okay so or we redirect it to another page or we can do that yes ajit we can do that okay uh can we add a pop up message on error page you can even add lot of things uh, ajit i mean if you are pretty much good at uh, loading a page using a javascript you can even do anything as well okay all right so i would request you guys to go with this flow to uh, understand this model view controller so this is what you will be learning down the line uh, for each and every web application so you will be always thinking about model view controller okay so this is an architecture and we have spoken about mbc architecture and we have spoken about a do design pattern okay all right so any questions if there are no questions then uh, jeram we... yeah jeram i have uh, the assignment you gave mm -hmm. uh, when i was trying that um it was uh, complaining about the jdbc uh, connection okay uh, i tried the logic you know just inserting that just without servlets mm -hmm. and it was working okay. uh, i'm trying to copy the jar file or uh, set the class path uh -huh. uh, build the class path in the uh, web inf mm -hmm. how do i do that do i have you had a problem in your time? jdbc jars yeah okay it's yeah. all right it's a good question yeah. i think it's a correct time to tell you that all the jar files which are required for your application because let's say in this case you need jdbc jar put those jar files into your libraries folder okay so any related jar files which your application needs you have to dump it in your library folder under your web inf that is very important point okay just dump it dump it in here and you should be okay all right did the dancer or no hang on you are using your jd core core java classes right uh, tell me again what is can you just ping me or probably email me the exceptions what you got i think i uh, wrong, wrongly misunderstood your question um no i get that 500 you get that 500 uh, so something also, is wrong in your application there the, yeah no the i put i put the out the print sys outs mm -hmm. and i found that it is having trouble finding the the driver um you know the class dot for name okay yeah yeah, yeah. okay so in so, that case you have to have that jar file in your library folder. right 
Yeah, because I I took that and then ran it. Mm -hmm. You know, I have a I have a project okay. uh, in the core Java, mm -hmm. and I I put the same code there and it was working fine. So that's mm -hmm. when I thought maybe it should be somewhere here. Yeah. So now now how do I do that? I I should set the. Uh, mm, you don't have to set path? anything. You don't have to set anything. Just copy the jar file and put it in your library folder. That's all. Yeah, it's not it's not doing that. I tried to do it. Um, yeah, that's how it is. Otherwise, you can uh, see this. You need basically during runtime itself. Okay, this Oracle yeah. driver. You do not need anything during your compile time. Okay. Yes. All these yeah. things, what you uh, uh, need during compile. Yes, there are other ways also wherein if you need it during compile time, uh, you have to use new of Oracle driver. Now, if you see here, my Oracle driver is nowhere in present in my machine also. Okay. If I um, run this application real short right now, I, I'll definitely get a get the same exception what yeah. you want to get. So in that case, what I will do, I will copy the jar file which that is your ojdbc uh, dot jar. Okay, and dump it in yeah. my library folder. Okay. Uh, maybe I'm trying to copy the. It's saying cannot paste the clipboard contents into no. a selected item. Uh, so go maybe to your navigator. Uh, go to your navigator or package yeah, explorer. Okay. okay. Or else right click properties. Go to the actual physical location and just copy and right. paste the jar file over there. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. See, yeah. we are all engineers. <laughs> we are all engineers, so we are all uh, we know <laughs> what to do, different things. Okay. Uh, I wanted to do the right way. I tried to do. No, no, no. This is uh, it. Doesn't mean which is right, which is wrong. Okay. <laughs> Ultimately, you have to push okay. your jar file inside your library folder. Yeah. So another question I have is um, when I was trying to uh, I was trying to do the annotation. Uh huh. Uh, when I I created the annotation, so when you have annotation, you don't have to uh, do the URL path in the XML file. You don't have to. You don't have to. So how does the how does the XML file link to the HTML? How does it identify that this HTML file is is it because it's in the part, that particular it folder? It is. It is in the container. Okay. It is not about folder. It is in the container. Okay. See the the complete application Got which it, we are right. deploying, we are deploying it in the in in a web server, and every uh, web server a web server will be having its own container. Okay. So the container knows where the files are. The only thing is you have to point to the particular file. Now I cannot for I cannot say here as a hello slash error handler. It is not present, right? I should say error handler, or I should say login dot html. I cannot say I can say hello.html. If I go to the browser, I say hello.html. I cannot say something like uh, tags slash hello.html. Correct? So you need to understand where exactly your HTML is present. Now it all depends on your root context. Okay? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. All right, folks. I would uh, request you guys to please uh, uh, go with this example and at least run this and make sure you understand this MVC. Uh, architecture which is very important for you and i just got a couple of emails from you guys yesterday uh, let me just uh, 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 i get, just got 12 emails uh, regarding the uh, link okay i just got it from one from consultant 2007 rashmi lidia kirti uh, krishna floor chad pratima adil mail dot SRBAS. Yeah, I think it was regarding the. Pa uh, we are not getting access to that. No, no. I just uh, told you yesterday to send out me an email uh, saying that uh, uh, I need just need the video links. Okay, instantly. Okay, so I just got couple of uh, uh, emails from a uh, couple of folks, and I've just listed them in my uh, shared folder so that instantly you can share those. I mean, check uh, those videos, the one which I'm doing it today so probably yeah. in another two or three hours you can do that okay yeah uh, thank you jeram uh, uh, just quick question uh, i'm trying to uh the git the repository i'm trying to sync it so how do i sync it like right now i only have core java uh okay go to your uh, git repository right click on this and just say pull okay Oh, okay, okay, okay. Let me do your pull. Once it has been pulled, and right click on the servlet web pro JDBC and just say uh, import projects. Okay, so it will be imported to your workspace. Okay. 